special mentions to Ishmeet, Ashmeet, Shilpi, Kevin, Ashwini, Akanksha, Purnima and Sakshi. I am so 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 thankful to each one of you. You made this video possible. Thank you guys. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to This Shade That Color. My name is Gagan and today... Uh, never mind. So India is going through a lockdown. Uh, how often do you get through that? Not really. We all have so many thoughts going on in our heads during this lockdown and it started from March and now it's June and yeah, it gets frustrating. I am here in my house doing this video. Okay, so I compiled a few questions regarding what are the positives, what are the negatives of this whole lockdown and the pandemic that's going on currently in our country. And I asked these questions not to myself, but to some people, a few people who agreed to do this with me, to them. And I'm so grateful to them that they participated in it and did it for me. I asked 9 questions to 8 different people regarding the thoughts on lockdown. And this video is about them answering those questions. I think I should begin with the questions now. Okay, so here goes the question number 1. What's one positive that has happened during the lockdown? The one positive thing that has happened during this lockdown would be um, I've got to sleep a lot, a lot, a lot and binge watching all the series, Netflix, Amazon, covered most of them. So yeah, sleeping and binge watching. The one positive thing which has happened during lockdown is that I have become more attentive towards my fitness regime. Since I have got a lot of time during this lockdown, so I am going regular with it. And I have also lost a few kgs, so I think that's a very positive thing. The one positive thing that has happened is that I no longer uh, let my face get better of me. I used to be very fearful, but the lockdown has made this very possible for me to let go of my fears. I would say one year long maternity leave because uh, I had to join back uh, on 23rd of March. But due to the lockdown, it just extended. I'm on leave still now, like working from home. So I think that was the best thing that happened to me in the lockdown. One positive thing I did in this lockdown is I learned cooking. Almost every household chores which I should be doing, I have done it in this lockdown. Yeah. I would have to say calming birth sounds and empty roads. Feel that we have time for ourselves during lockdown. The one positive thing, if you ask me what has happened during the lockdown, it would be uh, my body's getting the required amount of sleep, rest, and uh, learning to cook new things at home which is eventually making my family happy. What's one thing you found yourself doing during lockdown which was otherwise always neglected? I think uh, my passion for making uh, like resources, uh, like I'm into teaching for like past 10 years. I did not used to get time enough. So now I'm devoting a lot of time creating those, you know, colorful PPTs and resources and some study materials and I have just started a page on Insta and just doing great. So I think that was my passion. I regained my passion. This is quite simple, I think, cooking because the whole world is doing and so am I. Playing board games with full family. I found that I am not a bad sketcher. What I did is I talked to all my friends, my relatives, my I called every one of them, I video called them. After some time I I got bored. So yes, then I started cooking. Yeah. The thing that was neglected and I had not noticed before was that I can take so much work pressure. Of course, when I was working in office, it was a little less work, as in compared to now. But yeah, I can take the amount of pressure I'm getting from my superiors, of course. And uh, another neglection would be um, me cooking. Like, of course, I was fond of cooking, but itna cooking, itni sari varieties. I won't tell you what all, but yeah, many things I started cooking. So yeah, cooking. I myself meditating more. 
um, I used to meditate but off and on not really that much and now that the lockdown is there I'm meditating almost like three times a day and it's been absolutely wonderful um, even though I do have a much more hectic schedule I would say being in the lockdown uh, meditating I now find the time to make meditation a part of my routine and um, it's really beneficial and it's something that I have been neglecting for God knows what reason. Where do you wish you were stuck during lockdown? Pretty much the same at home but with my dog. Maybe somewhere in a good place, somewhere somewhere in a hill station. I wish I was at a beach house in Goa with my loved ones. For sure it would be in the hills, you know the view would be so serene and beautiful and even the climate there. To be honest, I wish I was home with my parents um, because they have, it's a beautiful place. Um, the house is on one side and the opposite side is a lot of land and there are lots of trees and fruit trees and flowers and all my doggies are there. So I wish I was home with my parents or maybe on the beach because I love being on the beach. I wouldn't wish for anything else than where I am right now. I'm quite happy that I'm stuck at home during this lockdown with my family. There are a lot of people that don't have their family around them during this time but I'm very happy that I'm stuck during this lockdown at home. I think home is fine. I mean as long as you are with your family and your dear and your ones are with you uh, I don't I don't think that you need any place rather than that. I think at Ranvi Singh's house in Mumbai, maybe. What's one thing that bothers you most during lockdown? Too much of work. Too much of household work. Of course the work pressure because it is more than it was in office. Um, and the news. The only thing on the news is Corona nothing else and the third thing I have one more thing so the third thing would be my overprotective parents so yeah it's bothering me too much the one thing that bothers me the most is that I haven't been able to dress up anymore to go out my outstation travels <laughs> we are all at home we are all safe we are you know by God grace we are not facing any kind of problem but when I I think when I see beyond this, like the people who are actually suffering, that, that pisses me off. That is really very saddening and depressing. This is the fear that any of the family member could get affected was actually very really scary. What we need right now at this time is a lot of positivity, much better news instead of Raika Pahar Banana, that's what's happening in the media these days. Lack of empathy people are having towards migrant laborers see the kind of comments people are making uh, saying that they shouldn't have walked and um, they should have stayed where they are and who told them to have to come to uh, major cities to work and you know it's easy to say when you're sitting in the comfort of your own home but until un until and unless you put yourself in their shoes it's very difficult uh, to understand the plight of migrant laborers Does the lockdown make you happy or sad? So the lockdown makes me happy as well as sad. Happy because of course I'm getting to spend more time with my family, chill with them. And sad because of course over time with my family. So yeah, fights and chick chick much much. And another reason to be sad is people are dying and uh, dying because of corona. And uh, people starving, not getting food, losing their you know family members. Till the time I'm I'm in my comfort zone, till the time I'm in safe zone, my near and dear ones are happy and they are fine. Till the time it is fine because you know uh, it's it looks like a holiday. It's like extended holiday going on. It's sad because you know the situation. It's like never ending. I don't think it is going anywhere soon. So. When I think about it like that, it makes me feel really sad and depressing. Initially, though, I was very happy because it was a completely new thing that you are at home with family and you get a compulsory off and everything. But eventually, it became quite a thing because then you were like forced to stay at home, no outings, nothing like that. Well, I'm a lazy being, so not going out doesn't make me sad at all. 
for a short while it was making me happy because me and Sajid was having a good time just knowing more each other coordinating in the activities which we had to do otherwise house help would have done but now since it's going forever it's not happy or it's not fun anymore it's both um i'm happy in the sense that i'm able to go inside and discover many things about myself and during this lockdown i was uh, able to get my uh, diploma in becoming a yoga trainer and i did many other courses in uh, mindfulness awareness i'm now a certified life coach makes me sad about this lockdown is that it has brought a lot of heat and there's been a lot of fear mongering discrimination and fighting not just in india but in almost every country um uh, i'm happy because i'm getting to sleep a lot um the sleeps that i've missed before because of traveling getting to work on time i'm getting to recover all of that sometimes i feel good and sometimes i feel it should be over what's one thing you'll miss the most once this lockdown and pandemic is over I think uh, spending the entire 24/7 with my mother I will miss the most because at office it's like another world. I will not really miss anything. I have been helping those who are in need by sharing uh, food hampers and uh, cooked food and for the dogs also. So I'll pretty much go back to my routine which was this anyway before the lockdown. Walking in my pajamas, log in आराम से, walk in those comfy pajamas the entire day, take a shower by the end of the day if you want. Well, I'll miss the empty rows and no pollution and game night every night. Get to spend time with my baby. You know, I was just wondering that if I if I had joined uh, in March, I wouldn't have seen her growing. I mean, I would have missed her first crawl, her first step. So now me and my spouse, we like we both are enjoying it. So it's it's. It's a blessing in disguise, I guess. Spending time with my family because you know we're together all day, having lunch with them, and uh, you know we play games. And uh, the breaks that I take, you know, supposing I'm tired working, and of course I'm sure everybody's doing that. So you know the intervals that we take, probably just lie down, relax, and yeah, eating so much of food. Office me itna khana gaal leke jayenge. So of course, na sara khana ek time pe khana, oh maza aata hai. Definitely my sleep, and I will miss. Waking up so late. Suppose there is no deadly virus out there. You think we should still have nationwide lockdowns in that case? If yes, for how many days and at what frequency? No, I don't think there should be a nationwide lockdown. If you want a break, just take it. You don't need a nation to stop for that. Totally, every year for 21 days at least, so that you know our nature can heal itself again. There should be some parameters for it. I, I mean, like for the. The environmentalist cause there should be a lockdown because you get to see the clear sky after like ages. You know the Yamuna is pretty clear now. We got to see those flamingos birds in Mumbai, Navi Mumbai. I mean these are all like nature is healing. So I think we should give at least one month, one month lockdown. I would want a yes and a no both for the lockdown to still be there. Yes, because. Uh, You know, work from home is better than going to office. And no, because being at home all day and for months, four days in a row is really boring. Yes, definitely. But if not lockdown, we should get at least a week's time in a month for vacation for ourselves. Answer would be no. I would not want to be stuck at home for. Three months now, so almost three months that I'm working from home. I think uh, if not lockdown, then we can always have little breaks like these. You know, at least once a year wouldn't be a bad idea. In that case, we get our time for the nature to get healed and everything, and we also get time to spend with family. Um, the lockdown has shown that the less movement that we have is the better it is for Mother Nature. Uh, pollution has. decreased in such great magnitudes the ozone layer started healing itself so lockdowns are important and also the lockdown has forced people to spend time with their family which was not happening because everything was revolving around work for maybe like a week then weekend lockdown or something like that if i ask you to count your blessings today which one tops the chart i think that having a life itself is a blessing 
blessed that I am staying safe with my family. Blessing that top would be being safe at home with my parents. Is the ability to wake up each and every day, to be able to do everything that I normally would do and live my dream of being a dancer and helping those in need. My parents and such yeah. I am with my near and dear ones and I am not that affected by this lockdown like so many other people out there. I would have to say thank God uh, our farmers and their produce was not harmed at all. Being safe is the biggest blessing that I have. And the second one is safe because it's my overprotective parents. Like I mentioned in this video, overprotective parents. But in the end, that's for our good, you know, to keep me safe and the family safe. I think uh, we are safe, privileged to have a shelter, food, and the love of our, you know, the loved ones that we have. Our families are safe. What's your takeaway out of this whole situation that we are in today? Those that we need to go inside, we need to investigate, we need to understand ourselves, we need to understand what are we doing, why are we doing it, how are we doing it. And it is a perfect time for us to evaluate our lives and to see where we are, where we should be, what are we doing, what are we not doing. So being thankful. Thankful for not being stuck at home but being safe at home. Don't take things for granted like, you know, your parents and uh, remember everyone in your prayers and just stay safe. Give some time to yourself. Just calm down, give some time to yourself, things will fall in place. Just don't panic for anything. Relax yourself. You'll be happy. Instead of, uh, you know, helping anyone uh, indirectly, we should go and directly help someone. And I would say like the way Somosud is doing, I am really impressed by the, that guy. Oh, it feels like a bad dream. I pinch myself sometimes uh, to this the thing is, has not sink in still. Still it is unbelievable. I mean, it's too vast. It's too vast. It's, it is difficult to express. My takeaway is that don't piss nature at a level that it starts taking revenge. Uh, the current situation taught me the value of money. We should have at least some reasonable amount of savings with us to deal with such kind of crisis in near future. We should buy things what we need but not what we want. Count our blessings twice. Be grateful for everything that you have. You know, shelter, you have a roof above you during this time. You have your loved ones around you, getting to eat on time. Be grateful for the people around you and yeah. Okay, so that sums up the set of 9 questions that I had in my head and I wanted to know what people are actually thinking about it. Like, I think that the lockdown is like, okay, like initially it was fine but now it's getting to my nerves. But I know it's the need of the hour, we can't really do anything about it except just cooperate with the situation and be at peace in our heads and uh, just support each other and care for each other in whatever ways we can.